Hello everyone, welcome to PM Networking. Guys, yesterday I have posted this question on my Facebook page, on my PM Networking Facebook page, and many of you are giving wrong answer of, of this question, right? Many people are saying no, I need trunk between switches. Many of uh, saying that there is concept of native VLAN, cannot ping, right? So, guys, right answer of this question is yes, PC1 can communicate with PC3. PC1 can ping to PC3. So, here in this video, I will show you practically as well. I will prove you this in packet tracer that PC1 can communicate with PC3. But first of all, understand question. So, guys, question is if all ports of switch 1 are access port with VLAN 10 means all ports of switch 1 are access port with VLAN 10 means all ports are member of VLAN 10 and on switch 2 all ports are access port with VLAN 20 means all ports are member of VLAN 20. So here between switch 1 and switch 2 see this one is not a trunk link right. So question is can PC1 whose IP address is 10.0.0.1 Pin to PC3 whose IP address is 10.0.0.3. So my answer is yes. So all the people who is saying no, it will not work. No. So you guys are wrong, right? First of all, let me show you practically in packet tracer. So here I am going to design same topology. And guys, there is no any concept of VLAN, right? There is no any concept of VLAN in this question this is a interview scenario based interview question see i have to switch switch one and switch two let me take here okay and let me draw some pc so suppose we have two pc here and uh, let me delete pc zero pc one pc two pc three and pc four so suppose switch one and switch two is connected through fast ethernet zero slash one this port is connected to zero slash two and this port is connected to zero slash three zero slash two zero slash three right now as you know by default all ports of switch belongs to which vlan vlan one that is native vlan right default vlan by default on every cisco switch a default VLAN exists that is known as VLAN 1. So here I am going to uh, make these three ports to access port with VLAN number 10. So let me configure that first on switch 1. Go to in replace mode then global configure mode. After that interface range first Ethernet 0 slash 1 2 3 and switch port mode access and switch port access vlan 10 so here vlan 10 does not exist so this switch is creating vlan 10 and now if you will verify so vlan brief so here you can see now there is one default vlan vlan 1 and these ports are member of vlan 1 and these three ports are member of vlan 10 fine now here on switch 2 i am going to make member of this port to vlan 20 so enable config t again interface range f 0 slash 1 2 3 and switch port mode access switch port access vlan 20 fine now let me configure ip address guys on pc1 i will configure 10 dot 0.0.1 .0 submit mask is suppose this one and as you know all devices belong to same subnet so no requirement of default gateway no need default gateway here here i am going to configure ip 10.0.0.2 here i am going to configure ip suppose 10.0.0.3 10.0.0.3 and here i am going to configure 10.4 so 10.0.0.4 so first of all let me show you see here on switch 2 all active 
oats belongs to villain 20 so villain brief right and there is no any trunk link so interface trunk right there is no any port there is no any trunk port fine now ip address of pc3 is 10.3 so let me check first that can pc1 ping to pc3 or not so ping 10.0.0.3 so guys see here this pc is getting reply right so ping is successful so first of all all the people who is saying that no it cannot ping so you are wrong guys it can ping and now understand how this pc can pc1 can ping to pc3 so see if i will ping again let me open it pick as well so that i can highlight something okay so here let me ping again as you can see this one is icmp traffic this is a icmp traffic where source ip is source ip is 10.0.0.1 and destination ip is 10.0.0.3 as you can see right this pc will send this icmp request to switch one and switch one will receive this icmp request at which port at this port at 0 slash 2 and this port is member of which vlan this port is member of which vlan vlan 10 so vlan brief here you can see this port 0 slash 2 is member of vlan 10 so now this switch will check what destination mac address in the in the icmp packet so in icmp packet destination mac is c guys 00e08f90.0 c86 am i right this is mac address of pc3 this is mac address of pc3 here you can verify yes this mac address this is mac address of pc3 let me paste it over here this is mac address of pc3 so now switch will do what to forward frame switch check mac address table switch maintain mac address table so first of all switch will check their mac address table so mac address table to find the destination mac destination mac is this one in the last it is 86 right in the last last it is 86 so here you can see the mac address device whose mac address is this is connected on which port on 0 slash 1 and each this port is member of vlan 10 so yes this port is also member of vlan 10 so switch will do what guys switch will forward this icmp packet from f0 slash 1 but on switch 2 will receive this packet on this port so this port is member of which vlan this port is member of vlan 20 this port is member of vlan 20 so now switch 2 will forward this frame to the user to the device who belongs to same vlan so switch will check what mac address table to forward traffic so see destination is again same in last it's 86 so this switch will check their mac address table so mac address table and here you can see this device is connected on which port on 0 slash 2 and this port is yes member of vlan 20 so this switch will forward this packet from 0 slash 2 and in the same way this machine will generate reply when reply will reach to switch 2 switch 2 will receive uh, this reply packet on f0 slash 2 which is member of vlan 20 so it will forward this frame from this port from 0 slash 1 because now destination will be mac address of pc1 and here you can see destination mac at last it's 6 c6 so here in mac address table of switch 2 you can see this mac address c6 connected on which port on f0 slash 1 which is member of vlan 20 so definitely this switch will forward this reply packet from f0 slash 1 and this is how these two pc can communicate with each other okay so guys hope 
it's clear now if anyone have a still doubt please let me know in comment right i will make one more video on it no problem guys but you guys need to prepare this type of question because interviewer is asking this type of question in interview scenario based question okay so that's all for today guys bye bye if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys